Hi, I have designed this video for especially a BAP fresher who wants to learn a BAP and for experienced people also, they can revise quickly their ABAP skill. So I am starting with data dictionary objects. So this is the basic SAP GUI screen. In SAP, everything works with the help of T code. So this is the place where we need to put our T code. SC11 is the T code for data dictionary. You will get this type of screen after putting SC11 T code. And from here we can create our database table. The naming convention of database table can be start by Z or Y. Then we can create view. There are four types of view. So that is database view, projection view, maintenance view, help view. The difference between data dictionary and view is that table stores data and at runtime view can show the data. So database view is used for creation of more than one tables. We can apply joins more than one tables here. And into projection view, we can create for one table. Into maintenance view, we can, up, we can update some data records from table. And help view used for search purpose. So this is all about view. In data type, we can create our data element, a structure and table type. So data element defines as domain plus naming convention. A structure holds data at runtime and table type, we created generally type of any table. So it works like internal table. Then we can create type group from here. Then we can create domain from here. Domain defines the data type and length of the fields. Then we have search help options. Search help means it shows the possible value into list down. Like uh, these are the example of search help. So it will show the possible value. There are two kind of search helps. That is collective search help and elementary search help. Then we have we can create lock object from here. So lock object generally we create for the locking of the object. So at a one time only one user can edit any order, sales order or any object. So for that purpose we create lock object and when we created a lock object, so by default two function module generated that is NQ and DQ. So I will explain the important parameter of table. During the creation of custom table, we need to take care of these parameters. So uh, here into attribute tab, we can see uh, who has done last change on which date and what is the package of table and what is the language. Then we have delivery and maintenance tab. So here is the delivery class. So delivery class is responsible for the transport of the table data and during upgrade of table delivery class is responsible. So here we have so many options like A stands for application table master transactional data. If we want to make this table transportable, so we need to select delivery class as C. Then we have option of data maintenance allowed with restrictions allowed not allowed so we can apply check from here then we have fields here we can provide our required fields but first field always it is mandate so it is mandatory to take mandate due to showing uh, client name then we have input help check uh, tab so here like we can find out what are the check tables used at field levels there are check tables and value tables so check table like we'll check the like uh, uh, in existing record is available on into other table or not it is be it behaves like foreign key then we can find out the search help exit list from here then we have currency quantity fields tab so generally 
uh, for those fields which data type is of quantity so for that we need to take reference table and reference reference field so we can see the data type is quan so in this case we need to take reference table and reference field if we will not select it so it will give us error then there is important uh, parameters is technical settings so into general properties we need to select data class data class uh, defines as the phys physical area of table where data get stored so here we can find out the options like appl0 appl l1 appl l2 so it will like define as master data transparent table transactional data transparent tables then we have size category so from here we can select how many records will get stored into this table so from here we can select then we have buffering buffering is something like data when comes from database layer at application layer so buffering is very useful in that then we can select log data changes options also from here if anyone will make changes into records of this tables so we can get the log of the record then we have uh, options of a storage type that is column store row store undefined so by default the column store option is checked we can make it row store or column store so basically in s4 hana concepts comes of column store table and row store tables so from here we can select for our new generated custom tables we can select the options then we can create table maintenance generator for our table table maintenance generator means for the data updation into table through sm30 t code we can make entry of new records we can edit existing records we can delete records if we generated the table maintenance generator so from here we can generate tables table maintenance generators we can do table entries also from here table contents create entry options we can check the versions like if once we created tables and transported into other environment so from these options we can check that into previous transport request what are the changes done and the current the transport request what are the changes is going on so we can create our indexes from here so we when we create table so on the base of primary key the primary index generated we can create our secondary index but into s4 hana there is not concept of secondary index so we don't require to create secondary index for table enhancement purpose we can select append a structure and include a structure so this is the primary key and this is the initialization so if we will select primary key so it means there will be not duplicate entry will exist and initial key means that there will be some value contains in this field so this is the activation icon this is the where used list like we can check where this table is like using or not this is the like edit and display mode we can like select from here so this is the overall about a table so you can easily create a custom table with the help of this tutorial the except j or y which you will like find the table name like m n any other a b so that means it is a standard table this is that is not custom table only j or y used for creation of custom tables so this is overall about tables so kindly like subscribe and comment please for my upcoming new videos kindly motivate me and please share it thanks for watching my video